how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I was asking them, but I mean, I guess you can tell me how you're doing too. Uh, I guess, you know, pretty special day, so I'm doing great. I'm doing you're good. Doing all right. I'm doing good, yeah. It's going to be special today because we're going to give you two videos for the price of one. Well, for the price of all of them, kind of, because they're all free. But right. anyway, we're going to film two videos today. We're not going to give them all to you today. We're going to split them up two weeks. But since we're going to be wearing the same shirts and being in the same place, Two videos. It's crazy. So, if you don't know, this is Beer Grab Mondays. Mm -hmm. um, I'm Dan. Still Joe. It's good. Good to know. Uh, we try a new beer every week, every Monday. Mm -hmm. See how we like them, mm -hmm. pretty much. And as always, we drink out of our Sam Adams pint glass mm -hmm. that you can get at the Sam Adams factory mm -hmm. in Boston. Free tour, free beer. Mm -hmm. Two things I like. And lots and lots of amazing information that you probably didn't know about beer. That's right. So yes, today we are trying... Uh, how, how would you say that? Wolvers? Could be Wolavers, could be Wolavers. I don't know. Could be... Wait, what type is it? Like a oh, organic? It's not like German or anything, so just go yeah. for it. Okay. It is a oatmeal stout. I don't know what that means. I've only had one oatmeal stout. It was pretty good. Uh, yeah, I have high hopes of them. It's USDA organic, which is good. Yeah, I don't think we've had an organic beer yet. I At least not uh, endorsed by anything. Agreed. All right, I'm not going to read the description yet. We're going to try that first. Um, this brewery, the Vermont's own brewery, I guess, has been open since 1997. Strong belief in organic farming. It was good. So if you are a health nut, like I am, literally. <laughs> um, He's literally made out of nuts. And organic nuts. Um, yeah. I, I eat a lot of organic stuff. You should too. Beer should be in your diet one time a week. <laughs> <laughs> or, or twice. Or twice. If you happen to do a special edition. Then. That's right. So yeah, doesn't tell us what percentage alcohol it is though, which is a little disappointing. So who knows how amazingly drunk we're gonna get or not feel anything. <laughs> That's right. It could be just like root beer. Yeah, real. <laughs> so yes, um, we're gonna put, <laughs> we're gonna put a little picture right here at the bottom, a little close up, uh, because you may not be able to see this right now. So yeah, picture right here. Beautiful farmer. Let's uh, let's give it a try. Yeah, I'm ready. How are you ready? How come you didn't want to read the description? You never read the description first. Dude, we always read the description to them first. Not no, first. I don't know. No, we drink. We, we do stuff different every single week. <laughs> we can't really. We smell the first and we taste it. And you're like, oh, we pull out oatmeal because you know. <laughs> All right. And then we read the description. All right. Yes. So. Ooh. So far. Looks a lot like a slightly thinner Guinness. Pretty black, pretty thick. Yes. But. Say it. I don't know what you're going to look for me to be saying. My nose isn't working very well today. Not that it usually does, mm -hmm. but. I was going to say that you had to smell one specific thing. <laughs> yes, exactly. I knew what you were talking about, even though I hadn't smelled it yet. There is a little bit of coffee smell. <laughs> That's right. Always coffee. But I like my coffee. Very, very thin. Yeah. I hate when I inhale the liquid in my nose. You'd think I'd be good at it yeah. by now. It smells pretty good. Right from the get-go. Um, I'll agree with that. Even with the coffee smell. Yeah, definitely smell the coffee. I wouldn't say you would smell... The oatmeal-ish, grainy-ish. Yeah, it's been so long since I've smelled oatmeal. I kind of <laughs> can't pull that scent out of my memory, but I, I think it may smell like oatmeal. Sure. Besides the point, uh, let's taste this thing. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Does that taste like coffee at all? 
But this is just me. How about you? Mm. We'll see. <clears throat> no. no. Yeah. I mean, the aftertaste has like a hint of mocha, but sure. it's not like an overpowering yeah. piece of coffee. Right from, like you said, you know what? Huh. Uh, right from the beginning, I get the oatmeal. It's not oatmeal. Why are you? Why are you cooling it down? <laughs> <laughs> I was just playing with the bubbles while you were talking, but jeez, um, well, like my right, beard, right in the hot. right in the front end. I do get the oatmeal taste. I don't pull out anything else. It smells of coffee. Very hint of coffee. Tastes like oatmeal. Right in the beginning. You want to do the honors of reading this description? Do I? Oh, is it so tiny? Is that one? Brimming with darkly roasted malts, this rich and creamy stout features hints of coffee and chocolate. There you go. The addition of organically grown oats adds to the unfiltered, full-bodied experience. It is unfiltered, unpasteurized, and organic. Hmm. So clearly we got that coffee going on. I never taste the chocolate. I really wish I taste chocolate because I love chocolate. And yet, all these other flavors are always too overpowering for me to taste chocolate. Which, that makes me want to brew my own beer that's like strictly chocolate flavored. There's nothing else in it. And I bet it would be amazing. Make it like 12% alcohol. Yeah, go crazy. Mm. In any case. In any case. I gotta say I like it. I mean... As much as I shouldn't compared to what my palate likes. You say you like it? It's a very good beer. Yeah. Joe likes a stout. Yeah. It's good. There you go. Mmm. It's good. Definitely. My palate is changing as we're doing these. That's good. I know if this we would have had this day one, I would have been like, oh, no, I can't. No. But I'm trying not to be a baby anymore. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's good. <clears throat> I'm gonna feel healthy drinking it too because it's okay. <laughs> we definitely I'm have something kidding. else like this. Tastes very similar. I want to say the lion stout, but. The lion stout was definitely more of a coffee, definitely more of a mocha mm. flavor. This could be like its little brother, I guess. Sure. So, if you want to try a lion stout, but you're not as adventurous yet, I would say try this first. Mm. And then from there, step it up to the lion stout, because the lion stout is definitely a more coffee, mocha flavor. So, mm. yeah. But um, the color is kind of deceiving compared to the consistency of the, the drink itself. It's certainly not thick. It's not like inside your mouth. It just feels like a really thin beer. I agree. So, so it looks could be deceiving. Yeah. It's definitely nowhere like it. It's just because it looked like it when we poured it a little right. bit. Um, the mouthfeel too is very very thin. It's like like I said, it's not like a guess. It does not. It doesn't seem like it has a lot of sugars in it. So. Mm. Definitely getting that roasted coffee flavor right at the end. Sure. Very smooth. Mm. I think that's probably why I like it so much. Yeah. Regardless of the flavors, if it's smooth, it works out really well. I'm gonna kill this one. So, what would this taste good with? It's definitely a steak. Definitely some kind of beef. Yeah, this probably wouldn't taste good with like a cod. It's a like a, a piccata. Taste on it that yeah, it would probably be like, what the heck is going on in my mouth? Sure. So, um, or maybe even like a, a really powerful red sauce. This might be good with. Sure. But the coffee and the red sauce would taste pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So heavier things Definitely. compared to lighter things. Even though this is heavy itself, it probably just wouldn't taste good with something really light. Right. right. You wouldn't want to drink this with a salad. <laughs> Right. Organic or not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Score-wise. Oh, 
We're already at that. We're already. What? You want to talk about anything else? I don't know. I was trying to think of myself. Like, have we gone over all the checklist points? The vague checklist that we have. I think we have. Yeah, I think we have. Everything except the alcohol content, which we just don't know. And right. it's really hard to tell just from tasting it, but I wouldn't say anywhere near eight. Probably more like a, a five, five or six. Yeah. It's, it doesn't taste very powerful. Yeah, who knows? But you can always look down here ish at the description and I'll label alcohol, where you can buy it, uh, where it's brewed, everything like that. So, well, he's good. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Number wise. Well, since I think it's such a good beer, and just going with my first instinct without thinking about it too much, I think it's an eight. I agree. It's, uh, it's, it doesn't deserve to be a seven because it's better than that. Um, I don't think it's anywhere near a spectacular beer. I wouldn't give it a nine just because I personally wouldn't drink it all the time. Right. And a nine to me would be something that I would be like crazy about and really love and want to drink a lot. But as far as beers go, it's a very good beer. They clearly put a lot of time into this. It's, it's well balanced. Which I'm sure we've said a lot about, about a lot of beers, but I really mean it with this one. Like, there's no one thing that you can easily pull out a lot of because they've combined it so well. So eight is where I'm at. Mm -hmm. I agree too. Um, I may be a little biased because I do like coffee a lot. And I do like stouts, so a combination of those two with chocolate. And I like chocolate a little bit. Everything Why, can you taste the chocolate in this? I can't, just, you know, the description. Just, like you said, coffee, chocolate. Well, that's what I wanted to know. Like, if you could, then that just means I still aren't, I'm not, not at the point where I can taste everything in right. it. No, I can't really taste the chocolate in there. Just, I like oatmeal. I like everything. <laughs> everything with the spirit. Organic. It's good, too. So, overall, I'll give it an eight. Mouth feels very, very... Loose. <laughs> I can't think of a word. It's very smooth. It's very easy to drink. Like loose things in my mouth. Yeah. You know. Right. Just like the average person. So, uh, yeah, give it an eight. I think that's about it for this beer. Right. We'll have to cleanse our palates a little bit so we can try this next beer coming up. Yeah. It'll be mine, not his this time. So who knows what we're gonna get. That's right. These are always the more educated, better tasting beers, and mine are always, what the heck did you just put, give us? Yes. So, we'll find out. Yes. So, like we said right from the beginning, this is a two-part series. We're going to upload this one right now. And next week, we're going to upload the other one. Wait, so, right now? Right. Oh, wait. We could say that at any point. It wouldn't really matter. Right now! Ha <laughs> ha! That's right. So, yeah. We will um, see you guys next week. The same spot. Arriva Dare Chi. What does that mean? I think it's French for a goodbye. Oh, uh, I'll just give you a goodbye. So, could be some of the language. Right. Right. So, I right, finish this beer, he's gonna finish his beer, and we'll see you next week. Cheers. Drink safe.